Ready? Okay. Hi y'all, my name is Carissa. This is the Fat Girl Flow channel. And today we are doing a haul with Universal Standard. You may notice I have cut off all of my hair. I heard that 90s mom cuts were back in, so I went all in. I actually have bangs as well, but they were not cooperating this morning, so they went up. Um, next week is Black Friday stuff, and I'm wondering if y'all want me to post on Instagram stories, if you would prefer a full blog post with all the sales if you're not into the sales, if you're like no consumerism this year, if you would prefer a video, let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of starting to like gather all the best sales and stuff, but if you don't want to hear about them, that's fine too. Also, so sorry that so many of my videos are coming out on Fridays instead of Thursdays right now. We're hoping to correct that, but honestly, I seem to just continuously be a day behind with everything that I'm doing right now, so we'll see when I can get back on track for that. I feel confused confused about what to wear in the winter this year. I don't know why, but this year especially I'm feeling like, what do we wear in the winter? What do I ever wear if I'm not wearing bikinis? I've forgotten. I feel like uh, I'm hot, then I'm cold, it's warm, then it's cold. I don't know what I'm doing. Also, apparently skinny jeans are completely out, straight leg and wide leg jeans are back in, so I feel um, confused and I am just trying my best, honestly. I feel like a lot of my outfits that I'm putting together lately look like this SNL skit that happened many years ago. I think I'm into it, honestly. I think I'm just like, lean in, girl. That's where you're at. And I'm just doing it, but... I don't know, what are y'all wearing this winter? I'm trying to figure it out. Also, global warming is wild. I feel like I could still be wearing shorts, but I need like a sweater with it. I don't, I don't know. Let's jump into what I got from Universal Standard. Uh, the first thing is this turtleneck. If anyone has ever told you that you can't wear a turtleneck because you have a giant double chin, fuck them, okay? That's not true. Look how cute this is. I think turtlenecks on people with big double chins on fat people is like one of my favorite looks. I think it is adorable. I love a turtleneck on a fatty. I did, I did order this sweater um, maybe two sizes down because I wanted it to do that like cute tight kind of feeling. It fits exactly the way I wanted it to by sizing down a couple sizes. It's ribbed and again it's got that like 90s mom teacher vibe that I'm currently into. This sweater is also just a really great base layer if you want to wear things over it because they size down. It would go great under a sweatshirt or a jacket. I'm going to show you the next piece I got, which is a jacket. One of Universal Standard's new puffer vest pieces. I have not even put this on my body yet. I'm so excited to try it on. It is in this beautiful purple color, which online looks, I would say, a little bit more like dusty, like closer to gray. In real life, it is a, it's a pretty solid purple. This is a pretty solid purple. I feel like really, like I'm a purple person in this, you know? Also, do y'all want to hear my theory about purple and why people start liking purple as they get older. I don't actually know if this is true, but I've decided that I'm a scientist and I figured it out because I read something that said that your eyes stop, your eyes stop uh, like processing the brightness of colors, of certain colors as you age. And I wonder if purple isn't one of those colors. So purple stays bright for us our whole lives while things like yellows and green dull. And so we start liking purple more and more. Can someone check the science on that? I don't really want to, but it's my theory. I ordered this in the Universal Standard Large. Remember that Universal Standard sizing um, is its own unique thing. So always check the size chart when you are ordering your pieces. They do list the like size that they've dedicated it, like large, extra large, whatever, with the numbered um, sizing. So it makes it a little bit easier to find it, but do check the size chart. I also got a pair of jeans that are not skinny jeans. They are straight leg boyfriend jeans. They are incredibly comfy. I could see myself wearing these all the time. Uh, they're just 
a good comfy jean. Universal Standards jeans are kind of on the light side, like the stretchy. They're not a super heavy denim. They're a little bit more like stretchy and movable than some other denims. All my Universal Standard denim has held up really, really well, so I appreciate that. Also, I feel like Universal Standard has really good pockets on their plus size jeans. Sometimes, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but certain places, as their jeans get bigger, their pockets stay the same size, and it just looks proportionally so not right. And Universal Standard pockets actually look appropriate for my huge ass. I also got this jersey black skirt. It is a simple skirt. I was feeling like I didn't have things to just kind of throw on with tights or something underneath it for the winter. So I grabbed this. I think it is easy. It is comfortable. I will wear it a million times. It's just a good solid staple piece in my closet. I got this piece and the next two pieces that I'm going to show you in their latest um, mystery box, which was their last mystery box they're ever going to run. I think it may be on sale currently as well. I also got one of their jumpsuits. I have had these jumpsuits in the past and I am a fan of them. Honestly, they look great as an outfit, but they are heavy weight and I like them because I can work in them like I can do house work I can put on work boots and go out and work in these and they hold up beautifully and they stretch with my body you can see in the try on portion I'm putting it on over this that is definitely how I would wear it as work wear I would wear like a turtleneck or something underneath it um, but of course you can throw booties on with it and it's suddenly a beautiful outfit. And the last piece that I got is a simple blue shirt dress. Again, I am confused about how to dress for winter, so I just decided to get layering pieces and hope that I could figure it out. The shirt dress, again, is just a staple I need in my closet. I feel like I have really figured out my closet for summer. I have the shorts and tanks that I need. Um, but I have not figured it out for winter, so I am still trying to like get some key pieces in my closet for winter, and this dress is a good addition. I, I can throw on a denim jacket with it, and it's a full outfit, so I needed these pieces in my closet. Another thing that I have been trying so hard to find, and I've been getting so frustrated, is a good pair of utility um, or hiking boots that are wide width. I have tried Keens, I've tried Carhartt, I've tried Area, I've tried, I've tried Danners, I've tried Columbia, I've tried so many different brands, and I think I've settled on a pair of Keens that I found if I order them in men's, they're wide enough. But if y'all are interested in hearing my spiel about all of the boots that I've tried uh, for wide width feet that are specifically like workwear boots. These are, a lot of them are like steel toe. A lot of them are made to be worn for many, many hours. These are the kind of boots I wear like around our property to, you know, do farm jobs, um, to spend the day clearing brush and hauling sticks and shit like that. So I really need like a very hardy boot because I am a person who jams my feet into things a lot and uh, I have torn through several pairs of boots because I, I go hard, I go hard. I think that's it for this haul. Thanks for being here. I'm gonna try to keep this momentum going. Okay, that's it. Until next time, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you then. Bye.